Hello. Um, so we try this. Um, the doctors say that um, DJ is um, the bones in his uh, skull are um, fused together and uh, and they shouldn't be. Um, this shouldn't be until there uh, is at least. Uh, two years old or so and uh, so he has to go in for surgery um, on uh, on the 14th of uh, January he has to go in for surgery um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it but uh, here it is uh, Cranioius Cetitis. That's supposed to be uh, what uh, the, the medical term is for it. Not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but <laughs> anyway, um, the 14th of uh, January, I'm supposed to uh, we're supposed to take him in to. Uh, have um, surgery done on his uh, head. Um, it's a seven hour surgery and uh, when they uh, did the x-ray they um, my wife said they wrapped him up like a mummy and he didn't really care for that. He he screamed. He's like, "What are you doing this for?" Um, <coughs> we wanted to make sure that uh, it doesn't uh, happen like my one of my nieces who who had a similar problem. She uh, is now has uh, mental retardation from it. Um, but, uh, I mean, this could still affect him for the rest of his life, but, uh, hopefully it'll, it'll, uh, just be, the searcher will help, uh, him from, uh, having anything worse happen to him. So... We already have two daughters who have uh, chromosome uh, deficiencies, just like my wife does. So I'm not sure if, if that's what he, he has too or not, but we're going to test eventually and you know, see what uh, if he has the same thing as his sisters do or not. Um, but uh, since uh, my wife was adopted we don't know well we ob obviously it came from her family because it was it's a genetic uh, uh, deficient uh, genetic uh, problem but uh, since she was adopted we don't know that much family history about her family so but uh, just uh, letting you know to to pray for uh, DJ so when he goes into the hospital to that he uh, will come out all right and everything will go go okay. Thank you. Bye.